Okay. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, Representative Matt Gates, and that's G-A-E-T-Z, uh, allegedly, and I say allegedly because I do not know the man, nor was I there at the time that this happened, okay? Attended a substance-fueled intimacy party in 2017 when a underage girl at the center of the alleged trafficking scandal according to legal documents which were filed in a Florida federal court shortly before midnight on Thursday cited sealed affidavits from three eyewitness testimonies so this girl who was a at the time a junior in high school arrived in her mother's car for a July 15 2017 party at the Florida home of Chris Dorworth D-O-R-W-O-R-T-H he is a lobbyist and a friend of Matt's uh, according to a court filing written by a defense attorney who interviewed the witnesses as part of an ongoing civil lawsuit that Dorworth brought in 2023 so this lobbyist and friend claimed that he had been unfairly dragged into this alleged uh, trafficking scandal that has dodged Matt Gates and his allies for years. So this Doeworth um, ultimately dropped the case, but lawyers filed the documents in an attempt to recoup attorney's fees for a lawsuit that they said should have never been brought. So one eyewitness cited in the court filings that a young woman that was referred to only as K.M. provided a sworn affidavit that claimed that this girl was bare, okay? Uh, party goers there were to engage in certain activities and there were spirits and substances present. So the girl was identified in the filings only as A.V. The discovery taken in this case to date reflects that on Saturday, July 15, 2017, the door, this guy Dor Dorworth hosted a party at his house with the following guests. Um, you have A.B., K.M., uh, another guest, B.G., and then there was Matt Gates. And this is what the lawyers wrote in the filing, also listing several other people. So then the defense lawyers followed, uh, fired, uh, folly, <laughs> filed, sorry, uh, testimonies from these three women. They are now women, okay, but at the time they were underage. Who the attorneys say they placed Matt Gates at Dorwar's house that night under seal pending a judge's approval to make the records public. Additionally, Gates' own ex-girlfriend who was at the party provided testimony that the lawyers uh, say rebutes uh, Dorworth's claims that he was not there. So it has been independently verified that Gates and one of these women who testified were previously involved in a relationship and she is the one that's identified by B.G. So the congressman's ex-girlfriend's 11th hour testimony on September 3rd came just two days before Dilworth dropped his lawsuit and defense attorneys said that this is what they said in the filing. So the defense attorneys also relied on Dorworth's geological cell phone records, which showed that he communicated constantly with the congressman that day. And the defense court filings show that there was a hired digital forensic examiner that identified Matt Gates's phone number, which has a Florida pan handle 850 area, area code and they texted back and forth like 30 times that day. And then they called, uh, he called Dorworth twice in the hours before the evening and said BG, uh, another attendee at that party confirmed AB's testimony 
under penalty of perjury. That's what the defense lawyers are saying. So this marks the first time that sworn testimony has been referenced in public court filings, alleging that the congressman attended one of these long rumored parties that is tied to an alleged underage scandal. Previous reports have revealed details of ex-politicians and Gates' friend Joel Greenberg and his confession letter that was never even made public, which described how Matt Gates would allegedly pay him to arrange for several uh, encounters with younger women. Not saying that they were underage, but just younger women, including this one underage. So Greenberg is serving an 11-year prison sentence for a list of charges, including fraud and trafficking with the underage. So there have also been reports of Venmo payment transactions that were also never released showing the congressman paying this Greenberg, who's in prison, uh, on at least one occasion. In 2021, uh, Gates appeared on Tucker Carlson's show and he said, the person doesn't exist. I have never had a relationship with a 17 year old. This is totally false. So he denied the allegations and he, you know, just, you know, kept denying, 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 right? So the Department of Justice investigated Matt Gates and ultimately declined to file criminal charges. Well, Matt did not immediately respond, you know, for any comp, you know, requests for comments or anything like that because they're not going to, right? So the records also show that AB was born in 1999, attended these three weekly deposition se sessions in July and testified in front of lawyers in Boulder, Colorado. So the new details were released in a cache of court filings that were ironically made public as direct result of the congressman's friend, Dorworth, trying to make this all disappear. So when the DOJ dropped the investigation, Dorworth sued several people, including Greenberg, who's in prison. Well, you can't get blood out of a stone. What are you trying to do? And the woman who claimed that she was trapped by Gates when she was 17. So Dorworth responded by text messaging on Friday morning, repeating his claim that he never met this girl, not once in my life, he said. Okay. And she's lying about Matt, too. Okay but that's not what you said originally, but now you're saying that, okay, all right. So Dorworth said his account is supported by a polygraph test that he took uh, a couple of years ago during which he was asked about the alleged encounters and that he noted that he is still suing Joel, uh, his parents and his company in state court. And he also took issue with the way that defense lawyers referenced material that he stressed was confidential. So, let the shit show now begin, okay? Because this guy, Matt Gates, is now in the center of a scandal. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao.